welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to bake biscuits in the uh, Dutch oven. And uh, today we're going to throw a new twist at you. Uh, today we're going to do it on real wood charcoal. Um, not charcoal, but real coals from a, an actual fire that we built. Okay, we're going to make so, our basic uh, biscuit batter here. Biscuit uh, dough. Start with two cups of uh, self-rising flour. If you don't have the self-rising kind, you can use general purpose. I just need to use more uh, baking powder and uh, salt. So we're going to start out with just two cups of that. We're going to go with a little bit of extra salt, just a, uh, maybe a half a teaspoon. That's it. And then uh, we're going to want these to fluff up real nice. We're going to give it a little extra baking powder. that go with about a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. All right, we'll just uh, mix that real quick. The dry ingredients. And we're going to put in good old, uh, makes the best biscuit, good old lard. We're going to put in about a quarter cup or just kind of eyeball it. Get that out of there. Um, about a quarter cup. And I'll show you how to combine these really easy. a ton of these uh, videos from Dutch Oven Cooking on YouTube. And uh, almost without exception, everybody's using charcoal. Right, I don't have one of those fancy uh, pastry blenders, but you can use one if you have it. I just use a good old tater masher and just start uh, cutting that through the flour. It's kind of hard to get it started, but once you get it started, it works pretty good. We're just going to smash the lard into the flour, just like with uh, just any other kind of pastry recipe. Get it blended together. I don't like to get it uh, too fine, but just well combined. It still be some chunks in it. It will uh, really help with the tenderness. Good enough. Now we're just going to pour in the milk uh, slowly, about half of it to start with. We start up with about three quarters of a cup of milk there. Now we're just going to start to combine that until it all comes together. Don't want it to be uh, too wet. Dry there now, so we're gonna use just a little bit more. And we're probably gonna use most of that three quarters of a cup. See that dough came together really nice. Get that off of our spoon. And here we're gonna use a little bit more flour this up into a ball so I'm going to sprinkle it in the bowl and on the top and just start working it with your hand um, get it up in a ball and we're going to knead it just a few times you don't want to overdo this usually just fold it over on itself uh, three four five times flour. It's enough to keep them sticking to your hands. Alright, so those ready. Underneath here we have a piece of parchment paper. This makes it a whole lot easier to clean this up and uh, keeps it from sticking. Let's get this out of the way. And basically we're just going to um, knead this a couple more times and pat it out about a half an inch, half an inch thick. No need for a roller finger. Works fine. Uh, it's a lot harder, okay, to do it with real wood charcoal. Uh, I'll admit that. It's uh, you got to have a lot of wood. You got to uh, spend a lot of time preparing your fire. Um, and it's much harder to control the heat in the pot um, with real wood. Um, but we're sure going to show you just today that you know it can be done, and um, we'll uh, fill you in a little later and show you how it comes. Okay, out. we got our dough padded out. We got our uh, rack for our Dutch oven um, already ready here, and uh, we just cut a piece of parchment paper into a circle to fit on top of that. So we're just going to go ahead and just cut these out. 
We'll start with one in the middle and we'll build around them. These we're doing uh, kind of a medium, the medium size biscuit cutter on these because it makes them fit in a pot a lot easier. Um, but we're sure going to show you just today that you know it can be done and um, we'll uh, fill you in a little later and show you how they come out. So the final steps of this process we're just going to paint the top of these with some uh, melted butter and a pastry brush. Uh, you could just pour it on them if you don't have a pastry brush but this makes a nice even coating. This is going to help the, uh, the tops brown real nice and give them a really professional look. Just a couple of pats of melted butter. But you can do the sides of them if you'd like. Sometimes I get around the sides of them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our oven ready. We'll get these guys going. All right. Well, today we're not using charcoal as normal with the. Um, bacon with the Dutch oven. We're just going to go ahead and uh, use some real wood coals here. And with this biscuit recipe, it's pretty important not to get too much fire on the bottom. Um, you know, keep them burning your biscuits up. So we're just going to get a few of these small coals out of the bottom here. Just to get a hold of. Put them up here on top of our pan. Again, not doesn't take a lot. Use our old shovel to get under there and get at it. We just have a an old uh, an old skillet there turned upside down. We we'll go ahead and get our pot on top of that and let that start preheating. And while that's happening, I'm gonna put some more uh, wood up there and get some more coals for the top. Now that we got it started, we're just going to go ahead and, um, it's not really hot yet. We'll use our lid lifter. Just going to go ahead and set, set our uh, biscuits carefully down into the bottom. And just make sure they're centered. And we'll get our lid on top. Now, we've got some more chunks of hickory going over here, getting ready. To make okay, now we got us a uh, good bed of coals on the top there used uh, some small chunks um, to get them going and um, as soon as the flame dies down a little bit we put them on and we want most of our heat on the top for these biscuits so that should do us but we'll uh, let that go a little while and then we'll uh, take a peek see how they're doing All right, folks, it's been about 30 minutes or so. Um, you see we have our real wood coals on the, on this Dutch oven. We're going to go in there and take a peek at these guys and uh, see about where they're at for done this. Those look just about perfect. You can see they've risen up. Um, they're nice and golden brown on top. So we're going to go ahead and take these guys off. Okay, one uh, final thing before we go plate up these biscuits, don't be afraid to uh, try your Dutch oven um, with, you know, using a real campfire, coals from a campfire. Uh, it's much different than uh, doing charcoal. Um, you might not always have charcoal, um, and it's a good skill to learn how to, to perfect uh, doing this with the real wood. And, and like I said, there's a learning curve. So just get out there and practice it. You know, try something like biscuits like we did today. Uh, if you mess them up, you know, it's, it's only a couple dollars in, uh, in uh, ingredients there. If you burn them up, whatever, uh, 
just uh, move on and keep doing it. You know, just keep doing it until you learn um, how to get them to come out. Go ahead and plate these up. I'm going to get a couple of our uh, biscuits out of the Dutch oven there. You see the bottoms are not overdone. Um, that's do that rack and the uh, parchment paper and control the heat on the bottom. So just going to open them up here. You can see they're uh, perfectly done. They're still very, very moist. Uh, of course, you got to have a little butter on a biscuit. We're going to put a little bit of butter on there. Nice and steaming hot. Then we have um, this is some of our uh, homemade wild muscadine jelly made from the, the wild muscadines we pick here ourselves. Could put a little bit of that on, on one side. This is very good, very intense, great flavor. So this is from the wild berry. And on the other side, we got some of our good uh, Florida orange blossom honey. And it's going to drizzle a little bit of that right over the other side maybe a little on top of them too that is a uh, side dish fit for a king thanks for watching if y'all like what we're doing please subscribe and share and uh, shoot us a comment if you have any questions mm -hmm.